Hello Beauty News family, welcome to part two of the Kylie Royal Peach saga. Um, so Ooh, in this... who am I? <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Oh, damn, some big eyes you got. <laughs> Thank you. So in our last video, we did destroy the Royal Peach palette. We, we fucked did. it up royally. Royally. Uh, and in this video, we will be putting it back together, not so royally. Um, yeah. yeah. And look, it comes together in the end. It's fine. It there does. you go. Spoiler alert. Um, so essentially what we've done is we've destroyed the, the palette, the pans, and um, we're splitting it over two palettes, basically. So Correct. we will get one each. You guys can see how that works out. Uh, people have been requesting it. So shall we get on to it? But also if you want to see swatches oh, yes. of what it's like untouched mm -hmm. versus repressed because a lot of people want to see that as well yeah you're driving if, me crazy yeah with it. <laughs> yeah yeah people want to know that will also be at the end so keep on watching okay so when you are repressing you do want it to be of that kind of dry dirt dry kind yep. of clay consistency rather than a wet paste, wet paste. Whoopsie daisy! <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. It's all right, Yay. guys. We'll fix that we'll up. We'll fix that. Don't you cry. Yeah, you're looking for a wet sand consistency. Yep. It should only clump together when you push it together. Yep. Basically. And what we are putting in there is isopropyl alcohol. So it dries out and once it's all evaporated, it's back to normal. Yeah. one of the metallic formulas and um, it feels quite nice going back into the pan it's easy to manipulate feels like it's um, sort of pressing back in there quite easily on its own which is nice this is similar to how the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Nicole Guerrero glow kit felt really nice smooth smooth yeah I have confidence that these ones will turn out quite nicely. Oh, look at the colour that came off that. Mm, it's weird. That's the interesting. one of the satin formulas and it, it's all right like it, it you know it's not as nice as the metallic to work with but it, it's fine it's... it actually looks like the other color it does it looks like what's on here but um but it ain't it ain't are we ready for the big reveal oh i'm ready oh, oh. <laughs> 
Wouldn't it be funny if they were all that colour? Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Add a bit of alcohol and they turn, all turn into the same colour. You watch the edges of that, it might crack a little bit. Yeah. If you don't get your product right up to the edges, you might find that they crack a little bit. But we're not, we don't have like any serious feelings about this palette, so we don't care. Hey, apathy is a feeling. Yeah. Well, there you go. I feel major fucking apathy about this palette. <laughs> And by the way, we have had a few people in previous videos are like, you're wasting too much product. This is alcohol with some of the, like the, the coloring pigment coming out. So it's not actually losing product, but there's barely any product on there. It's not product. It's just alcohol, it's colored alcohol. Yeah. metallic formula so it actually pressed really nicely <laughs> <laughs> whoops seem like we're idiots dropping things it's very hard we're quite extended yeah, and away from the, like we're trying to keep out of the camera so and also away from the light so we don't cast annoying yeah. shadows so which we're doing there's anyway a, there's a process yeah Flake of green in there. Mmm. Beautiful. Never mind. <laughs> it's called marble. Yeah. Don't copy our idea. <laughs> Trademark, copyright. <laughs> Carly Marble. <laughs> Sitting here first.
tools of everything. Now yep. let's create or recreate the palette. Alright guys, so there you have it. The Kylie Royal Peach Palette pressed over two pans per shadow. So one for me, one for Kat. It's a thing, it can happen. Uh, we've noticed some of the shades, the matte shades in particular, are starting to crack, so they will likely do that. Um, but we will check back with swatches to show you how they perform. So that was us repressing. Like you can definitely get enough product to repress yep. into two pans. They won't be, of course, full. No. Um, and also, it does mean that potentially there were parts where we repressed it, and you could see like it wasn't necessarily hitting the side yep. of the pan properly, which means that, that could crumble a little, a little bit in the future. Once again, just repress it. Not that big a deal. Yep. But. It is feasible if you are really on a tight budget mm -hmm. to split one palette into two and yep. share it amongst two friends. Probably a lot of work. Yeah. Took a oh, lot of work. Mate, fucking, it, it literally, I had over an hour of yeah. footage just of us repressing it. Yeah. And we actually did that together. So yeah. if one person is doing it on their own, it's going to take you a long time. It takes it's a not, while. It's not that fun. It gets tedious and boring. Yeah. It's, it's probably best just to save up your money and buy a full palette, yeah. but it can be done. It can be done. And what do we think about the swatches? Look, um, a lot of the shades, the, the metallic shades and some of the satin swatch close enough. Um, the mattes look woeful after they've been repressed and mm -hmm. swatched with a finger. However, as you saw with the brush swatches, they do perform in about the same way. Yeah. Um, that blue shade is a Not piece good. of shit anyway. So yeah, it wasn't good to <laughs> don't with. don't rely on that to be good for you. Um, you know, pressed or not repressed. Um, but look, the the palette is totally usable. It works as intended. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But once again, we probably would recommend just yeah, to buy two absolutely. palettes, save up your money, or like look for a cheaper palette. Yeah, these are very expensive palettes, and I, I yeah. don't, I don't, I don't see why. No, honestly, I don't like. It's not on the top of my recommended list. Definitely not. No. Anyway, if that was enjoyable, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the first video if you haven't done so already. That one is all about destroying mm -hmm. the destruction porn, destroying the actual palette. It was fun times. Mm. Um, and if you do like this series, we put up a new video every Wednesday, sometimes two, mm -hmm. like today. So do check back. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you, we'll see you soon. The next one. Bye. Bye.